Now, did best of five get into the beta? You might be asking, or you might be thinking, this is a yes or no answer. <laughs> I'm here to tell you that it is not as simple as a yes or no answer. So my answer to whether I got into the, into the Street Fighter 6 beta is a two-parter. I, on Tuesday, when they sent out the codes, I looked at my phone. I didn't receive an email. I was, I was upset. I went to bed really sad. I went to bed extremely, extremely sad. I did not get an email. I woke up yesterday morning, figured I would check my email one more time. And sure enough, there was a code. We got a code. We were chosen. We got it. We were chosen for the Street Fighter 6 beta. There was a, there was a, oh jeez. Okay, all right, all right, that's enough. <laughs> oh no, it broke. All right, there we go. <laughs> uh, we got a code, we got, I got the email. Now, I opened up my phone, I saw the notification, I got the email. I immediately ran over to my Steam account, typed in the code, Downloaded Street Fighter 6. Street Fighter 6 is in my Steam library. However, however, and here's where it gets real sad. I think I made a big uh oh, a, a big oopsie. And while I am fully willing to admit that I made a big oopsie, I still believe that. If I'm able to make this big oopsie, something is wrong with the system. So for those of you that don't know, I have uh, two Capcom IDs and two Steam IDs, right? I have the best of five Capcom ID and the best of five Steam, and I have my personal Steam and my personal Capcom ID. I got the notification on my phone. So I immediately went and dropped it into Steam because I was so happy. However, I later found out that the email went to my best of five Capcom ID and my Steam account was already tied to my personal Capcom ID. What does this mean? I feel like everybody already knows. So, you know, it, it's fine, right? I can just desync or I can just unlink my Capcom ID to my Steam and then I'll switch it over. Nope. Can't do that. Okay, I'll delete that Capcom ID and then it'll surely uh, unlink my Steam account. Nope. I looked at the Capcom ID page. And it said, if you're having issues with external accounts, contact support. Where's support? I spent all day yesterday looking. I found the Capcom support page. I sent them an email, opened the ticket. And they got back to me today and they said, oh, you have to go to this page. I was like, okay. And the page was the Capcom ID inquiry page. And as of before the show, and as of right now, no reply. I went as far as DMing Andy, the Capcom community manager, and Matt, the street writer, the Capcom brand manager, no reply. So, did we get into the, uh, the Street Fighter 6 beta? I don't know. <laughs> but here's the thing. Here's the thing. And, and, this is, and this is what I find very interesting. Is 
I totally understand why they did it this way, right? It's specifically for the people who are selling codes and for the people who are sharing codes who shouldn't be, right? It makes total sense. However, if a dumb dumb like me who has ownership of both accounts can fuck it up and can't undo it, there's an issue, right? Then there's something wrong with the system itself. So, and the fact that I haven't been able to get a straight answer from Capcom is very worrying. I think I remember when there was an issue with people harassing community managers. I, speci- I think it was specifically Carolyn Mamadou when she was the Capcom social media manager and community manager. Uh, a lot of people were harassing her about issues with Street Fighter V. And obviously, that's what you should not do. You should never harass developers. You should never harass staff. You should never harass anybody. Let's be real here. You should never harass anybody. One of my solutions, one of my solutions was to go to the support page and submit tickets on the support uh, support page. However, going through this situation, I realized it's customer support just dead for video games. I was not able to find a single phone number. I wasn't able to find anything. I was not able to get into contact with anybody. And the one person I was able to get into contact was like, go over there. So... For those of you that don't know why this is a bad thing, if you look into the uh, into the rules with the Capcom ID, they are as follows. Participants must have a Capcom ID linked with a platform account. Street Fighter VI requires a Capcom ID linked with an account for the platform you wish to play on. For those selected to take part in the closed beta test, please link your Capcom ID with an account for the platform that you chose to play on during the application process. You can use the link your Capcom ID link below to link your accounts before the test begins. Note, while you are not required to have your accounts linked at the time of applying for the test, you will need to have your accounts linked to play the closed beta test. Note, a platform account linked with a Capcom ID cannot be changed later. In addition, a different Capcom ID cannot be linked with an already linked platform account, even if the Capcom ID initially linked with the platform account is deleted. Well, what the fuck? <laughs> like, well, a Capcom ID from the account of your desired platform will mean that you are unable to participate in the closed beta test on that platform. Please, oh, I'm sorry. Please be aware that unlinking a Capcom ID from the account of your desired platform will mean that you are unable to participate in the closed beta, closed beta platform. <sighs> Remember when I said I was going through it this week? I've been going through it this week. Oh, man. I got to tell you, I think, like I said, I understand why. This was an issue. What I don't understand is the inability to delete an account to free up an existing platform account. Right. And if, like I said, if an idiot like me can fuck it up, then there's an issue. And now that I have an issue, ain't nobody around to help. Not even the community manager. I got ignored by the community manager. I got ignored by the by the brand manager. I'm at wit's end. And because I because it was a Steam code, it's tied to that account. I tried doing the family link thing or the family sharing. Doesn't work with family sharing. So <sighs> Yep. Needless to say, I've been kind of pissed since I had this realization yesterday. Uh, So, yeah, I've been kind of pissed. I've been going through it. Been having a rough time. And uh, this was kind of the cherry on top, man. Yeah, this hurts. This hurts a lot. Especially, I took off of work tomorrow (laughs) to go play Street Fighter VI. Ah. That's where we're at. So, did I get in the beta? Probably not. 
Yeah, I'll just make my own Blackjack or Street Fighter 6 with Blackjack and hookers. I'm going to try logging on because the servers open up at 2 a.m. my time, which is in like five-ish hours. So we'll see. There's a little bit of hope that maybe it'll work, but man, I, I'm, I just feel so defeated, man. It's, it's been a rough one. That, that made me real sad. I'm not going to lie. And the fact that I wasn't able to get any help is like, it hurts. It hurts a lot. But yeah, anyway, that's your answer to whether we got in the Street Fighter 6 beta or not. 